Aloha folks, I'm Gabriel Gabriel 5000 k and welcome back to more Let's Play Dead Island Definitive Edition Part 2. We're still playing as Shan Mei. And last time we escaped from the clutches of the evil zombies and we saved Sinemoy and did most of the errands for him. So let's continue. Busy surviving. Morrisby was a dangerous city even before the outbreak. Nice job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. If help don't come soon, we're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. Alright. We're gonna find Maggie. We're safe here for now, but there's still a lot to do. Got some folks to help out right help. now. Okay. Oh. Gotta find some painkillers for Linda. Gotta get two food stamps for that. This is a continuous event. Yep. So why not go inside? Can somebody help me with this bloody door? Hey, remember me, mate. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. The door to the infirmary is locked from the other side, and Anne's in critical condition. You think you can help me break the bloody thing down? Bloody health service. Help Jack get to the infirmary. Easy. Let's start now. Of course. I appreciate it. Go on, then. Okay, we gotta help Jack break down the door to the infirmary. When I do this, hold the left stick. Put it up. The order that the center will be very easy. Kill those poor bastards! And very annoying person that are Oh, go away! I won't go in there those things still bumping around. Alright, you're going down. <laughs> I just broke their arms. Oh yeah. More painkillers. Bandages. That's easier said than done. Now let's talk to Jack. Good on you, mate. Now let me get to work. Quest completed. Cindy didn't make it. She passed away during the night. My... Kelly's worried about her husband, Will, but I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there. Can you see if you can find him? Family matters. Look for Kelly's husband, a concierge named William. Kind of reminding me that, you know, the name Family Matters reminds me of the TV show, the sitcom show. All right, the difficulty is normal. You get 700 XP. Let's start now. I'm in. His name is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. Concierge. He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking maybe he's hiding out there. True. Look for Kelly's husband, a concierge named William at the Diamond's bungalow. Alright, let's do it, folks. It's right at the bay. Of course. Where we saved Cinemoy last time. <sighs> okay, the review hints in the pause menu. It's fine. But I hear annoying cars wailing. And. Right. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> I like the sounds of their heads. We go plop, plop. Come on. Move. I said move, darn it. All 
Huh. At least he wasn't after me. Let's kick the ball. Alright. I had the wrong button. <laughs> you can't kick it. It's just an obstacle, that's all. Man, that's a whole lot of palm trees. Alright, we're in Diamond Beach right now. Let's let's fight off these irritating punks. Go to hell. You died. You annoying, rotten, filthy zombies. That'll teach them how to mess with me. Alright then. Man, I'm I'm nearly dying right now. What is that? Stupid thug. Just ignore him. Oh my god. He's in trouble. I gotta save his life. You gotta help me. Leave him alone. Gotcha. Hey, green hat. Getting close to running out of his weapon. Thank you. Man, I was fucked up. Oh shit, I'm out of here. You should be too. Yes, we saved Alfred's life. What do we get? Cash. More water. Oh cool. Now let's use now let's use this. Yipes. Possum playing walkers? Will they ever learn to stay out of my business? Oh. Stupid thugs. Ow! What the crud? A walker? Can they stay out of my way, please? God. All right, that's it. Well, I'm about to die. It's getting better. Yeah. Level up. Goodness, this kind of reminds me of World of Warcraft, where you kill enemies just to get XP. You know, wasting your stamina also reminded me of Vampire. Anyway, let's spend our skills for now. Alright. Let's do it. Here we go. Go away. You know what? Let's just fight them all. Boom. Get off me, jerk. Goodbye. At least she wasn't playing possum. Okay. 
We got more of these zombies. Who just hit me? Dump them in the water. That way you can kill them instantly. Alright. Take that. Whoa. You see his rib cage being exposed. Who hit me? You. I didn't see you. See, I didn't even see you there. Why in the world are they so infected? Kind of reminded me of Dead Rising. Oh, look, a plank. Oh, there she is. That hurts. Oh yeah. Okay. Get in the water. Use that ladder. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see two exclamation marks over there. And there's a beautiful woman. Everything is so fuck. I need more champagne. I fucking love champagne. Can you find some for me? You find me champagne, and I'll give you whatever I have. Whatever you want. Time for booze. Find champagne for Svetlana. Normal. Yeah, champagne is one of the rarest items to find. In other words, this is a continuous mission. Svetlana is the Russian girl. Let's start. Let's do this. You like Sveti? Okay, baby, we're going to party. Now find me some champagne. And not the cheap shit. <laughs> I uh. need champagne. Ho, 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 ho. Stop spinning. You're making me dizzy. This is Jennifer Snyder. Let's talk to her. I can't find her. And I'm afraid to go out there. I can't. Maybe she went back to her bungalow. It was, um, number 15. Or maybe she's at her uncle's bungalow, uh, number two in the Golden District. Please, could you see if she's there? Fine, am Jennifer's sister. Easy. This is the girl that we helped her last time by finding her teddy bear. Let's start. Of course. Very easy. Thank you. Can you make sure she's in a safe place and out of danger? We'll do, Jennifer. We'll do. <laughs> Where's my champagne? What's up, William? I can't believe that crazy bitch sent someone to find me. The whole world's going to hell, and the last person I want to be with is that goddamn wife of mine. Look, take the money and whatever else you want. It's no use to me anymore. And tell her... Tell her I'm dead. Believe me, it's for the best. Turn to Max and Kelly with the good news. Please don't die on me. Don't say that. Oh, I got some medkits. Another fact. Looks unit. Svetlana's really pretty. That's for sure. She loves champagne. If you give her champagne, she'll give you something really awesome. Alright. We're good now. So let's follow that trail. And Oh, like, get out of my way. I get some damage. Can't you see that I'm in a hurry? Get out of my way, you annoying thug. These thugs are absolute annoying. Yeah, 
It's going to take a lot more weapons to throw. It'll take a lot of throwing weapons to kill that thug. That's for sure. Uh oh. Let's just ignore those guys. Let's deal with him standing in my way. What's in the bar? More alcohol. More energy drinks. Some more canned food. And water. Canned food for Ned. Well, at least I'm restoring some health. I'm back to full health, baby. <laughs> Annoying thug. You better counter. Surrender. Surrender. Why did she say that? All right. Let's keep moving. Oh, there's a when a zombie throws that weapon at you, they can kill you instantly. Sometimes they can kill you instantly, which is pretty annoying if you ask me. Alright. Let's keep going. Alright, let's deal with her. Deal with him. I mean him. Let's do this. One. Yay. If they break two arms, they die automatically. Just died in one hit. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to laugh. Break. You get XP for breaking arms. True. Very true. Stupid infected. I set you free. They are the worst enemies of the game. All right, we're gonna deal with these. Why are they carrying a weapon? Alright. Oh. Ha. Dead? A thug? Oh, the zombies are bad enough. But those punks and the thugs? Now we're, we're in Silver Bungalow District. Away from me. Alright. You're finished. Why do they have a TV there? Can't break the TV. Belt. One one more stash. You like Rouge the Bat from Sonic Adventure 2 when you collect treasure. Okay guys, let's go. Would that infected stay out of my business, please? Now you're dead. Whoa! 
are you doing? I think it's the best way to save my my weapon meter. What annoying zombies staying standing in my friggin' way. You stop that! Oh, you're still alive? Hey, you're annoying. Dead. Now let's try this on the side. No! Gotcha. Alright. So what is the difference between the original Dead Island and the definitive edition? Can you please let me know? Anyway, we're going back into the lifeguard tower. Just to tell them the good news. Let's talk to Hank. Over here. I've got a job for you. This baby needs some new spark plugs or she ain't going nowhere. Shame though. It's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. So, if you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars, and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out anytime you want. Deal? Lazarius Rising. Check out nearby car wrecks and bring Hank four car parts. Very easy. 300 XP. Here we go. I'll see what I can do. Excellent. You locate those parts. You know where to find me. Okay. But. Gotta get that trophy from. Jeez. Jack! What the hell happened here? What a bloody disaster. Nothing here at all, is there? We need to think of another way. Will you help me? I need you to locate an ambulance or one of the lifeguard vehicles. Inside, you'll find a paramedic bag with all the necessary equipment in it. I'm pretty sure I saw one by the diamond bungalows. Life in the bag. Find an ambulance or a lifeguard vehicle and bring the paramedics bag to the tower. Normal. Definitely. Without Definitely. Your help, we'd all be six feet under by now. We're bloody walking corpses. True. Okay, perfect. Let's talk to Max. Oh, poor son of a bitch. I thought he'd make it. Guess I was wrong. Thanks anyway. Appreciate the help. You're welcome. We get Puny Homemade Machete. Ah, oh, man, Maggie was right. Excuse me. I ran out in such a rush, I left my necklace behind at the hotel. Uh, it's in Bungalow 6 in the silver section. My husband gave it to me. It means a lot to me. I'm offering a reward. Can you help me? My precious. Well, kind of reminded me of Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Alright, my precious. Retrieve Genie's necklace from Bungalow 6 in the Silver Bungalows District. Easy. Yes. Thank you. Please be careful. Alright. Let's see what I could do, shall we? Drink some. Alrighty then. Doing the best that we can. Talking to a lot of folks and doing all the side quests and stuff. Alright. So those are the parts that he's talking about. One car part has been taken. Three more to go. There's another car part. Let's deal with that. I am going to give you a taste of your own medicine. Yes. Oh my god! An infected! Seriously, why in the world are there so many irritating infected? 
why do they have to chase after me and just to finish me off? Alright. There we go. Oh, I get that other one. What in the world is up with this punk? Demon! Yeah, demon. They're zombies, not demons. <laughs> Come on. What is that item? Oh, there's propane! And yet the car is standing in the way. Oh, we got it! For now, we're going to go on to this propane in case we run into a horde of annoying zombies. Kaboom! Alright. Enough. Stop it! Come on. die. Oh, me, Jessica Nelson. I should get the car to get that car standing in my friggin' way. Please. But for now, I think I'm gonna go do this one. Please, my husband, he's bleeding. Can you help us? Jessica's husband's bleeding. Necklace. Bring the necklace to Jenny. What do we have here? Got some gears. Hmm. We're gonna talk to Jean, Je Jessica. We need help. Her husband, Roger. Roger's literally in pain. Name's Roger, brothers. And this is my wife, Jess. Brothers. <laughs> we, we were driving like a bat out of hell when I saw that broke down car. Father me oh, said, man, he's covered in blood. Forget about it. But I couldn't, I couldn't do that and live with myself, so we stopped to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something, because he threw himself at us like a crazy guy. I had to, uh, had to kill him. But this was self-defense. I was protecting myself. <laughs> you gotta believe me. <sighs> but you know what? He took a bite out of me, man. Shit. I think I got whatever he had. Or rabies. I don't know. Fuck. Who the hell Rabies knows? come from animals. But, but can you get Jess out of here? If I start to lose it, I, I don't want to bloody hurt her. Bloody Valentine. Take Jessica, Roger's wife, to James at the lighthouse. Let's start now. I'll do my best. Hey, man. Thanks. Should take her to the lighthouse. My brother James should be there. He'll take her in. James Nelson is Roger's uh, younger brother, or probably his older brother. We're going to protect Jessica from these hordes of annoying zombies. Come on. You're coming in. I said you're coming with me. Come on, Jessica. Did you hear what I said? You're coming with me. Alright, we're going to keep... We're going to have to drive and fight off these irritating zombies. We're gonna go find James. That's Roger's brother. If Jessica dies or the car is destroyed, the mission will end and you'll have to start over.
Get out the car. And go. Get out. There are people living in the lighthouse? Where That's the right. That? Time to talk to Jessica. Jessica! Thank you. Can you check on my husband? Sure can. Quest completed. Hey, you're pretty, Jessica. Really pretty. So let's talk to You find anything? To Ned. Thank you. Thanks. That's perfect. You're a lifesaver. He gives you money for every canned food. Now let's talk Sorry, to Ned. Please. That is exactly what I needed. Thank you. You just saved this girl's life. Tell me where the hurts has been done. Dio bomb blueprint. You got a blueprint. Can't hurt to look. No, of course not. Of course it doesn't hurt to look. Seriously. Alright. Where's the uh hmm. Fast travel when you need one. It's over there. Those those yellow greater than signs, those two of them, that's the fast travel. Now we're heading to the lifeguard tower for now, okay? So that we can talk to Jeannie and tell her the good news. And we'll talk the to Hank. you find what I... Whoa, great job. Nice. Now just give me a sec and I'll get this bitch running. <laughs> okay. Now let's upgrade our work. Let's just repair. So expensive for pairing items and stuff. What the heck? Cleaver. What is a way to create? Combine together with a couple of deodorants in the way I, I prescribe, and you will have in your hands a homemade bomb. Just make sure her man that the deodorant and bottles are not empty. You need two deodorant and one duct tape. That's just this bad boy out. What the heck? Go up the stairs. Let's get some drink. Any more? Nope. More energy drinks. Jenny, I'm coming. Cinemore doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Yes, this is it. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Here's the reward I promised. Thank you. Level up. Tiring slicer. Too bad my items are full. Hmm, let's see. I want to try... Spectre. They lower your threat factor. That's for sure. Okay, let's see if we can check our map. I'm gonna talk to Mike. I heard this scourge came from out of space. Hey, Wayne. Probably need to sell something. Let's see here. If you press left trigger. Right trigger, you can change any categories. Mace, Kriblin Slicer. Yes. You're welcome. Wayne's one of the traders. Yeah, this is Omar in Bungalow 26. I need help here. Come for me and I'll make it worth your while. 
Is that Omar? We're gonna talk to Mike. Feel like I'm back in fucking Iraq. These bodies are starting to rot. You smell that? We need to burn them before they start attracting more of these walking dead motherfuckers. Do me a favor. See if you can't get some gas from that station nearby. Ashes to ashes. Very hard. Bring fuel from the gas station to burn the bodies. Let's do it. Yes. Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas. Sure, whatever you say, Mike. Alright, I'll take this off. We gotta get to the gas station to find more gasoline so that we can burn some dead bodies. Especially the zombie dead bodies. <sighs> the game is fun, but sometimes it can be annoying. Just saying. Depending on which challenges you do in the world, pick at the paramedics bag out of my way. Bring the paramedics bag back to Jack. Come on, we gotta hurry. Disgusting. Who could ever eat dead bodies? Kind of reminded me of the skull from Vampire. All right. Take this. And this. All right. Would you stay out of my way, please? even have patience for this. Oh my god. No! Oh, wrong button! I didn't have to heal. My health is literally full. Okay. You better talk to Luke. What in the world? Is someone snoring? Please, you gotta take this insulin to my brother, Danny. He needs it. He's in bungalow 14. Please. Too much sugar. Get the insulin to Luke's brother, Danny. Yeah. Okay. Plain and simple. Look, look, you better go. He's running out of time. All right. Can we go focus on the other one right now? Let's do it. Kill those punks. Alright, punk, you're going down. Come on. Better move. Oh my god, that's a... You know this... Gas station reminded me of? I don't know. <laughs> oh no! Infected! <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> they roar. <laughs> Why are there so many annoying monsters there? Hey, you! Go over to the door! Uh, give me a sec to open it! On my way, man. Alright, we gotta go help this guy. Gotta get to the other side of this gas station. Check on the dumpster, crate, and the fence. Oh. You can at least stay out of trouble. You do the right thing, right? Yeah, I'd better. Oh, good gravy. 
How do I get up there? Hmm. Suppose we gotta go to the other side, right? Come on, quick! Okay, gotta open that door for him. No, we don't. Okay, let's go to the other side. South is. Hey, man. We'll talk to Dan. What, you want gas? Sorry, the pumps ain't working. Power's out and the generator's in the warehouse next door. Unfortunately, the front entrance is blocked. Yeah, you know, maybe there's another way in. See, try the roof. That might work. Head out the back so they don't see you. And take some canisters with. Yo, know, once you get in, turn on the power and refuel those canisters. Now that we're here, we're not moving anywhere. It's too friggin' dangerous out there. Yeah, we gotta turn on the gas pumps. That was it. Oh, you zombies! Haha, -ha, skill. Should probably use that, right? Nope, I don't think so. But in there, we got nothing but irritating tools. And there's that thug inside. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine, shall we? Slice and dice. Slice and dice. One. Boom. Double boom. Triple boom. They're all dead. We did it. Now we can turn on the power. Fill a fuel canister with gasoline. Take the blockade off the door. Yeah, those red hands are one of the important objectives. You need to fill the empty canisters with gasoline. But you got an annoying infected over there. Here they come. This one is down. Right now. Where are these infected coming from? Two of them. Oh, holy smokes! I you're gonna get it. There's another one? Jeez, there are so many infected. Now refill the canister. Hold it there so that the canister's full. But for now, kill these, kill these irritating punks. Sorry, I'm really tired of saying it. Okay, that's one down. Well, let's see here. It's so much easier if I could use that truck. I know, Cephas. I know, man. I know. You need a lockpick skill level. The energy drink. Uh, you can only do one. That's fine. Fine. Break the window. There we go. Now drive. Okay. We're driving back to the lighthouse tower. Lifeguard tower. Go to hell. Boom. Bam. Uh oh. Is that a skull I just saw? Alright, get in. Whenever you need it. We 
Okay. Hurry it up. These fuckers are starting to stink. <laughs> Alright, bro. Let's talk to Mike. Hey, thank you. This should do it. By the way, I'm Mike. I got the bodies piled up outside. Guess we better do this. Nice to meet you, Mike. And he burns away the dead bodies. Go figure. And Mike goes back, goes into the tower. As a matter of fact, we got some Molotovs. Some fucking vacation, huh? I can help you out, though. You need a weapon, I'm your guy. Bricks and baseball bats can only take you so far. Torch them. They burn real easy. Get yourselves a couple of Molotov cocktails, and you can burn up a whole mob of those motherfuckers. You bring me a couple, and I can make you a few cocktails, if you catch my drift. Fiery drinks. Acquire five bottles of alcohol. Very easy. This is a continuous event. Continuous quest. That's for sure. Let's start now. Yes. Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. There should be some around here. Alright, he will so make you, you Molotov cocktails for every five bottles of alcohol that you bring him. True. But what's next? We gotta go talk to Jack. Tell him the good news. Jack, I got good news, man. You just saved a lot of lives, mate. You may have even saved hands. Thank you. You're welcome, dude. A sickle. Let's see here. No, 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 no. Let's check our weapons. What? Press the white button to drop. I don't need the diving knife right now. I'll use sickle. Man, I love that weapon. Ah, oh, man, Maggie was right. You can't just sit drink. There we go. All right. You see a red exclamation mark. That's important. So you want to burn those bastards or what? You know, we should probably go back. We gotta go talk. We gotta get the insulin to Luke's brother Danny. For now. It's located in the bungalow right there. When which bungalow could it be? All right. Let's. Let's just use the truck from now on. Why not? Why not? When the car takes too much damage, you get out of the car. You won't be able to ride it anymore. Alright. Let me tell you something about the, the guy Danny and how did he reminded me of. That one time I watched Zatch Bell. Alright, listen. When I was watching Zatch Bell, I remember my favorite character, Danny. The, the white spiked hair. The dude with the white spiky hair. And he's tall. The Momoto that doesn't like being called a kid. All it does, it triggers him. Danny's in Bungalow Force here. Die. Yeah, and when Mr. Coldo calls Danny Danny Boy, he gets triggered. He, he tells Mr. Coldo, You start calling me that, I'm not a kid. And he starts being very disrespectful to his elders. <laughs> Never disrespect your elders, man. And also, I remember he has a healing spell called Jiruk. I remember in the end he got his book burned by Zatch indirectly. But for now, let's go talk to him. Oh, I'm so worried about you. Yeah, Danny's voiced by Yuri Lowenthal. That's for sure. I told you that last time. Wait, you're not my brother? 
He must have sent you, right? Thank you. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until Luke gets here. Quest completed. Earn some cash. Hello? If anyone can hear me, I'm trapped in a lifeguard booth by the beach. Richard. Yeah. Richard is literally scared. Because of these infected zombies. What else? Only three more to go. Okay. Now then. Time to find Anne. Just to make sure that she's safe. The one we gave her the teddy bear last time. You're going down. Stay down. Says you're right. Zombies can jump out of the bush just to scare the living daylights out of you. Why do they do that to you? I don't know. Let's hurry. Oh my god! Look out! Oh my god, these infected are annoying bunch. I already said that. Did I? Energy drink. I'm gonna have to kill that guy so that he doesn't distract me. He's already dead. Some more items. Come on. Alright. There's another zombie. You're going down. Yay. At least I don't have to worry about him anymore right now. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. We gotta find Annie. Come on, open up. What are you waiting for? Open that door. Oh, that door is locked from the other side. Let's see here, nothing in there. Teddy says hello. hello. I know. Hello, Teddy. Can you find Jenny? If you see her, tell her not to worry, because Teddy is with me, and he will protect me. You gotta tell Jennifer that Annie's safe. My muscles are starting to cramp up. My muscles are starting to cramp up. I know. I know. But the lost. From now on, we're gonna find Maggie. Hold on a minute. Where in the world would Maggie possibly be? No, seriously, where is she? No, 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 let's... This is kind of different. Nothing here. Better hurry. Bloody pool over there where we saved Ted. Come on. Move. So what is your most hated enemy in Dead Island? I go with the infected and the punks. Yeah, these punks can kill anything that moves. 
even zombies and survivors. It's kind of messed up. It also reminds me of the psychopaths from Dead Rise. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> gotcha. Now let's move. When you complete challenges, you gain XP. Yeah. When you're out of stamina, you're dizzy. Hurry up. Mm. Come on. Take that. Alright. Keep moving. Keep on moving. Let's deal with him. Oh! That ought to hurt. Switch to this one. Oh. Why fall in the water? What's wrong with you? Why does the fuck out to stay in my way? Please! Yow! Hitting a limb with a blunt weapon may cripple it. Idea. No, that didn't work. Now it did. Why do these these thug zombies have to be this annoying? You stop that. I won't die. Gotta get into that, that bungalow. We need to talk to Anne's older sister. Alright. Gotta keep killing those stupid walkers until the cows come home. Alright. Again. In the water. Climb. And... Okay. Uh. Get in. I need champagne. <laughs> Anne! Oh, you oh, thank you so dizzy. much! Here... It's not much, but it's all I have. Two hearts has been done. Heavy mine. Another blueprint. There's lots of blueprints there. Two ladies. <laughs> There's my champagne. I want to fucking drink till I fucking drop. <laughs> okay, folks. Let's check on our mission. One more. Let's check one more time on the lost. I bet it's in a different map, if you ask me. But, let's go back to Cinemoy. Probably need to save some Molotovs for when I battle these punks. To running low on health. Wait for me. 
Why do these thugs have to respawn? It's a lot of surfboards, huts, palm trees, umbrellas, everything. Okay, let's check our map. Let's see. If we go to this area over there. Uh oh. Hear the sounds of an infected. That's her. Take this, you infected freak. <sighs> Gotta move. Gotta move fast. Come on. Now's not the time to mess around. Let's hurry. Zero stamina, all it does is take one damage for the enemy. Just have high stamina, okay? What's in there? Before I go to Cinemoy, I gotta go check over there. Let's see. Uh oh. Well, come on, hurry up. It's right there. Hope there's a, hope there's another survivor. Can't tell. I mean, honestly, why in the world would there be a lot of survivors in the beach? Oh my god. Say that again, Cheyenne. It's looking there. Good gravy. Why are there so many so, corpses everywhere? Okay. I'm leveled up now. Now I can spend some on strikes, critical kills, gain range, rage. Let's see here. I'm gonna choose attacking with sharp weapons while jumping cause extra damage. You can trigger a special attack while while it's in midair. Like this. Cool. This is dead now. moving. I was right. And there we got a car over there. A lot of annoying thugs here. And steam. Ah. 
Ouch. Stop that. You're making my rage go down. I ain't stopping until I destroy you, bloody losers. I'm coming, man. Whoa! That hurts! You see me like a friggin' ragdoll? I'm about to get my butt kicked. One more hit, and I'm gonna be totally toast. Come on. Can I use that card, please? Oh, of course not. Anything will help. Yeah, anything would help. Let's deal with him. Run, die, die. Yes. Help me, please, por favor. I am coming, man. Jose Garcia. I didn't think anyone would ever find me. Here, I have extra ammo. You need it. Take it. It's the least I can do from what you did for me. And to take the keys to that SUV in front of the bunker. I'm staying right here, so I'm not going to be needing it. Gracias, amigo. We got pistol ammo. Alright. Close the steam key. The steam valve. And there's a blueprint mod. Weighted mod. What's in there? Get into this manhole. And there's a secret door over there. I wonder where, the where it leads to. Can't really tell. Climb onto the ladder bars. On top. Right into heavy brass knuckles. Right. Let's put the fuel barrel Let's see over, there. over there. Okay, you better th better destroy that barrel so that the door is yes! destroyed. Yeah, and the door just disappeared. Well, what's in there? Secret area. What are we here? Oh, there's a skull socket, the socket over there. What does this lead to? Before the colored skulls, they would be used for special weapons. Right? Can't exactly tell, right? We're doomed? Why so many graffiti? Check them out. Eventually, we're going to have to go to see Cinema Life from now on. Stupid car standing my friggin' way. Leads to bay. Better get out of here right now so I can get in there. You know what? Get rid of the point. That car doesn't even fit in the gates. What's in here? What's in here? Some energy drink. That's great. All good. Keep moving.
Man. It's gonna be a lot of color skulls on this one. Keep moving. We have to keep moving until the cows come home, okay? Get up there. There. We're gonna talk to Cinemoid. up top. Flimsy wrench and a satellite dish. Go down. Yay. Don't know what we would have done without you, mate. You got a moment to talk. Kill time. Done. More cash. Talk to him again. I got the radio going, but I'm not hearing anything. Either this guy is farther away than I thought, or the monsoon's messing with the transmission. This may take a while, but don't worry. I have something for you to do in the meantime. We're running very low on food and water. Think you can find some? A piece of cake. Search the hotel's poolside bars for cans of food. Very easy. We get 1,000 XP. Yes. Okay then, don't bother with the hotel. With the power out, it's way too dangerous in there. Check the bars by the swimming pools. Bring everything you can find, anything at all, okay? In the meantime, I'll keep trying to reach this guy. Okay, you gotta search the bars for cans of food. Bring three cans of food to Cinemoli. In which place could it be? I could probably talk to the merchant. Oh. We already got some cans of food right now. So if I sell it, I heard this scourge came. From Let's see, if I sell one of those modifications, like canned food. Let's see. I'm out of space. True. Alrighty, folks, we could probably talk to Cinemoil again. Should I talk to him again? No, we don't have any. So that's why we need to find three of them. Which, is, which in fact is that we don't have any. Track it down. Okay, I'm gonna check over there in that map. Over there. Hey, don't go the wrong way. Car's not gonna do it any good anymore. If it is in my way. <gasps> Ow! What in the world? How did I take damage? Am 
Okay, it's a tight squeeze. Get away from me. Move it. This is the one that Samuel was talking about. Gotta be in there. But. Honestly, I could probably get that off. Let's check to the bar. Let's check the bar. Take this. Uh oh. There's a corpse over there. Storage key. What's in the storage key? Nothing but zombies in there. Come on, fill your stamina up. So I can kill those punks. Personal ID and more camp food. By the way, let's get that off. Still gotta find some more canned foods for cinema like. Go under. Anything will help. <laughs> Another personal ID. A water bottle? Gotta get three more. Two more for cinema. Pay attention, we have to hurry. Ooh, the body just disappeared. Guys, it's another can of food. We gotta go over there. It's probably another canned food. The rage's not full yet.
Okay, now's the best time to go. Full. Give me all the rage, folks. All the friggin' rage. There we go. Let's talk to him again. That's all there was? Bloody hell, that won't do. We need to find more. You gotta bring food supplies to Cinemoy. There are two petrol stations in the area, right? One by the lighthouse and one by the tunnel to the city. There might be some food and drinks there. I need you to go and bring everything you can find. Seek and lost. Seek and loot. Find the two gas stations and bring two packs of juice. Hard difficulty. For 1,800 XP. Let's do it. Sure. You might need a car to get it all back. Look for one at the station. Speaking of, of two packs of juice, I gotta drink something. Yeah, good Mountain Dew. Anyway, let's check our map and see. We're heading back to the gas station. Just like we did. Come on. Probably get some of these. Ah, we already got the car parts for now. Those car alarms are so annoying. Apart. Exactly. It is breaking apart. So that's why we gotta fix it. She hit me. Shouldn't be wasting stamina. Goodness, that's a whole lot of zombies. That's as if nobody in the world cares. Nothing but walkers and thugs. Oh my god! They just tore down the gas station. Uh, 
another personal ID. More alcohol, more canned foods. Right. Gotta get the juice pack. Alright. Pick up that juice pack. <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> oh my god. Another infected. Go away! Skill. Yeah, that's a whole lot of zombies. And by the way, we need a car. Why not? What the heck? Sorry I couldn't find a car, because that last car I was using got totally stuck. Don't chase me! Leave me alone! What's wrong with you? Ah, <sighs> you don't have to bother me anymore. Can't you see I'm in the middle of, of this job that I'm gonna do right now? Why are these doors busted down? You're mine. Oh no. Is that an infected that I heard? Dead forever. I hate infected. Okay. I'll kill her. up roar you can't jump Please hurry up. Move. Yeah, they slow you down when you're lifting up heavy objects. Cool. Alright, that's one down. Not to look for the last pack of juice.
Maybe if I can get that truck over there. Darn it. Yeah, this stuff's out of control. That's better. Okay. Alright then. There's an there's another gas station over there. What in the world? Why in the world is my my truck stuck? Truck stuck? Right. <laughs> Come on, let's move. That really did hurt. Excuse me. Get away from me, you infected creep creeps. Don't crash. Oh my god, there's smoke coming out of the hood of the car. Shields disintegrated. Crazy music radio. Do not go the wrong way. Just focus. Laurie Weaver, she's in trouble. We were driving to the lifeguard tower when something jumped in front of the car. John lost control and we crashed. He's still there, trapped inside the car. You have to help me get him out, please. Crash, get Laurie's husband out of the wrecked car. Easy. I'll try. Oh, thank you. Quickly, over here. Okay, I better protect this lovely lady. Linwood, how's it going, buddy? All right, we better protect them, protect the weavers from these annoying infected. Where are they? Come on. Come out, zombie cowards. By the way, they're over there. Probably take off that waypoint right now, so. I'll kill you. Please hurry. Where are they? There they are. The hitting in the head would be much more easier. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Please be careful. Come on, Lori. Please hurry. Yeah, okay, I gotta hurry. And deal with this lunatic. I must have been stuck in the bushes. Burn in hell. The door doesn't budge. Try again. 
going. Keep going. Hey, Linwood. Please be careful. I'm careful, buddy. Oh, you okay, buddy? Oh, thank goodness. John! John, you're gonna be okay. Here, take what you need out of the trunk. Whatever you want. Alright. Quest has been completed. We saved the Weaver's life. In other words, we still gotta help Cinemoid right now. Is there any area I've never been before? Hmm. Come on. Seriously, come on. No, probably not. At any rate, let's get back in the truck. Oh, move the camera already. Anyway, what is your favorite type of juice? I go with... Sometimes I go with Gatorade. Uh-oh. There's another survivor out there. That's Harlan. Gotta help him. Hey, we need to talk. Harlan Johnson. Found some wheels, but, uh, damn, something's wrong with the engine, because I didn't get very fucking far. I knew I had to get inside somewhere fast, and came up on this place, but, phew, it's locked up tied in a nun's asshole. Could you see Whoa. if there's another way in? I'm sure there's all kind of crap we might find useful in there. Make yourself at home. Help Harlan get inside the hut. Very easy. Yes. Okay. I'll wait here by the front. Watch yourselves. Who knows what you'll find in there? Sure don't smell too pretty. Okay. Gotta get to the other side of the hut. Nope. Okay. Gotta find a way to jump. Gotta jump on these boxes. Get on top of the fences. And get in there. Perfect. Now can we craft? What's next? Ripper Moth. Okay, this is gonna be really cool. A bleeding baseball bat. That would be nice. Maybe there's something in here. A frail wrench. And what are we here? Elaine's <laughs> thug. <laughs> Watch his power. Chop his arm off. <laughs> Can't stun him. He's down. Yeah. Yay. Now I got the keys. I'm all leveled up now. Alright. Yeah, there are effects including bleeding. 
poison and burning and getting shocked. But only expert number 12. There's lots of collectibles there. You did it! You saved Harlan's life! Now it's time to talk to him. Ooh, I wondered what the hell happened to you. I guess it wasn't the dead I smelled, but just the damp and mildew. Ew. Come here a second. Disgusting. Name's Harlan. I'm an airline pilot, and I was staying at the hotel. I was on my way to the airport, and this is as far as I got. So for now, the shack will have to do. I got food, I got water, but the only electricity comes from a gas-powered generator. I need more gas, and otherwise I'm going to be sitting my ass in the dark. Eventually the situation will settle, but until then, you think you could help me out? Fluid necessity. Find two gas cans at the gas station and deliver them to Harlan. Just like we did last time, okay? Yes. Now down the hill is a gas station. You bring me two cans of gas, and I'll pay you for it. Alright. We gotta two we gotta find two gas cans at the gas station and deliver them to Harlan. Okay, Cokes. We're gonna go into the truck so that it's easier for us. Let's see. This is the gas station that Harlan was talking about. Take that. Come on, keep moving. That's a lot of zombies. They're gonna distract me. Turn off the electricity in these here. Get away from me! The electricity. My god. Let's turn off switch B and switch C. Water dance. Gotta turn off all those electricity switches. Yeah, if you go there, you're gonna die instantly. <laughs> That's no good. Yeah! Oh. Gotta find a way inside that thing. Uh oh. At least she's dead. Hmm. Come on. Get in the bushes. Okay, you gotta jump on top of that truck. open that door. That's some real thing fights over there. And it infected! Oh my god! No, oh, don't you dare! Another infected! Guys, trying to annoy me. Save me. 
Oh my god. I really didn't see that coming. It is easier if I could throw some weapons at that annoying thug. Shut up. Man, the thugs are even worse. They're worse. I just killed the thug. Oh yeah. Where's the bleeding bat? Where'd it go? Where is it? Huh. Turn that button. Turn the power on. Take off the blockade. Still. Voila. Ah, uh, it went through the. It went through the door. <laughs> All right, gotta place that can of gas over there onto the truck. That's one. Only one more left. Better check the map. There's another power far away. Go on. All the zombies are burning up. Water dance. Find a way to get on the stage. Place these blocks. Oh my god! Stay out of my way! I almost died. Some stupid infected really distracted me. Why would they do that? I'm on the ladder. Oh, it's slowing dying. Another infected trying to get themselves to burn to death. Get the energy drink, the snack. It's a candy bar, right? Come on, turn it off. Oh yeah. Do not fall in five stories high. A friggin' infected is starting to get on my nerves. Don't mess with me. Okay then. Let's get rid of it for now. Well, let's look good. Look, let's look over there. Fast travel. How oh, cool. But still, we gotta get the gas to Waylon. To Harley. Oh my god. The car, the truck just blew up. And another one blew up. It killed me.
All right, now you're starting to get on my nerves, buddy. Oh no. Come on, move. You're really doing a good job here. to Harlan. That's good. I'll wait right here. I ain't going nowhere. One. Mm. Two. Now it's time to talk to him. Cool beans. They should keep the lights on for quite a while. Here, take some cash. <laughs> Ain't doing me any good here anyway. Cool. Got another idea for you. What? One of the best ways to take out one of them infected freaks is to set the some bitch on fire. They turn into crispy critters, and that is fucking it for them. I can make a couple Molotovs for you with the gasoline you brought me. Uh, you can. Take out a couple of those bastards at once. All I need are some empty bottles. And if there's whiskey in them, hell, that's even better. Death in the last. Bring Harlan three bottles of alcohol. This is a continuous mission. Let's do it. Bring me a couple bottles of whiskey or grain alcohol or anything like that and I'll fix you right up. He will make... Well, I'm not going nowhere. Molotov. Give me a couple bottles of whiskey and I'll make you Molotov cocktails. All right. Give me a couple bottles of whiskey and I'll make you Molotov cocktails. You already said that, man. I just need a couple bottles. I'm going to have to keep doing that for now. But, you got to get one more juice for Cinnamoy right now. You know, this ramming into enemies kind of reminded me of Brutal Legend. Right. the Molotov. No. Goodbye. Oh my god! Get away from me! It's gotta be up there. Oh my god! Get the living crap out of me! Take that! When you're in rage mode, she uses a powerful, sharp weapon to kill enemies instantly. Fruit. 
the fruit slowly recovers your health. Well, a little bit. Energy drink consume fills up your health. Another card. Of course, let's go inside of that gas station. Seriously, is there a way in here? Oh, right. You've got to be on top of the gas station. There's a hole up there. Get in. Get in, I said. Get in. Oh, break the glass. That's cool. Okay, open the door first. Get rid of that blockade now. Open it. Probably go back inside and see what we've got left. No alcohol. And there we go. <sighs> We're gonna take this back to Cinemoy. Actually, we're delivering it to him so that we can move on to the next animation. Whoa! I just crashed! <laughs> doing death in the glass right now we're doing seek and loot my frames are dropping even driving there. Is that a tiki statue? Let's go. I'll get out of here. What are you doing? Move. This car takes too much damage. Car's dead. Done like dinner. Come on, stop crashing. Death, death by car. Yeah. 
them. Boom. Better be careful of zombies holding their weapon. Devil. Take that. Boom. Got him. Okay, now we can go. Take this juice pack to Cinemoy. Out of my way, car. Place it. Talk to Cinemoy. I'm gonna upgrade this. We're gonna go talk to Cinemoy right now. Okay. Thanks, mate. I was losing hope. It's just what I was hoping for. Hey, we're in chapter three, Wheels of Steel. I've tried every frequency I can and nothing, mate. Silence. No trace of that guy who said he could help us. Dominic's trying to boost the transmitter. But who knows how long that'll take. Meanwhile, everything you bring disappears in the wild. flesh. We're almost down to nothing. I was afraid to even think about it. But I don't think we have a choice. I need you to go look for supplies in the town. Can you do this for us? Recover the truck from the hotel's parking garage. Very hard. Absolutely. The tunnel leading to the town is blocked. Those things are everywhere. But I have a plan. There's a truck we can use to punch through. I saw some blokes pull an 18-wheeler with a broken axle out of a ditch with it once. <laughs> if anything can get through the tunnel, it's that rig. Guaranteed. Now get to the parking garage and bring back that truck. Once you do that, then we'll worry about the rest. Gotta get to the hotel parking lot. Did Cinnaboy just said 18-wheeler? Did he really say that? <laughs> That 18-wheeler thing made me laugh so hard. Alright, folks. Let's go talk to the merchant. I'm on. What are you doing? I heard this scourge came from out... Medkit. We gotta get some medkits. Change categories. The space. Oh. Can I go into that truck? to that hotel. Done. Done like dinner. Oh my god. What are you 
trying to do to me? What are you waiting for? What are you crashing for? Move! Kill that infected! That infected is literally chasing me. Yeah. He can go kill himself. Why not? In the tunnel. Man, that's a lot of cars. On fire. I advise you not to touch the flames. Die. Die. Stop fooling around. Stay focused. Ah, uh, made it. By the way, we don't need that car right now. We're going to head inside so that we can get that 18-wheeler truck. Got to go to the side of the hotel. Well, let's take a look. We got two thugs. We got to find the door. Door, door key card. Okay. All right, then. Level up. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Life insurance. Extra slots. Stamina regeneration rate. It would be very best to do it. Weapon. Okay, he chopped his arm. He's gonna bite me. He's just still walking without his head off? Pick that up. Get to the hotel. Yeah, I don't want to have to worry about these annoying freaks getting in my way. Find your way to the hotel parking lot by going inside. Quest rewards can be unique items which cannot be obtained anywhere else. It's still in Wheels of Steel. Checkpoint. Alright, we're in the hotel. Maybe there's something in here. We're in the main hotel lobby. There's breakable glass. Yeah, these... These cards are a limited time. That's Davis. Okay. Let's check in the wine shop. Yeah. There are collectibles everywhere. Including the ID cards. I'm gonna deal with that. Zombie dude. She's standing in my way just to get on my nerves. Break the glass. 
switch for some objects. Printer. Extra snack. Oh, yeah, you gotta use the flashlight. I'll deal with this shit. Okay, let's keep looking, shall we? Already been there. Nothing inside. Janitor's room. I'm coming, man. Oh, a zombie woman! Just me! Just trying to think things way too seriously. So many dead corpses all over the hotel lobby. Hi, over here. Over where? I'm coming, mate. Seriously. Alright. Move in the desired direction and press A to dodge attacks. This. Capitated. That's a custom playing walker just to set me off. More alcohol. Snack. Fruit. It's a lot of alcohol. Flashlight on. When you see something dark, turn your flashlight on. I'm right here. Good on you. You made it this far. Unfortunately, this is as far as you go. The I security system has locked the doors. Now, I can still help you get through to the parking lot. But first, you got to promise me something. My partner Ken was trying to make his way here when he ran into a mob of those. Those things. If you find Ken, I'll tell you how to get to the parking garage, right? Find a guard named Ken. Okay. Going down there. Come on. Now the elevator opens. Mm hmm. So this is a limited time only area. Let's open this up. We're going to be finding some collectibles. Whoa, you can also break plates. Yeah, that's a lot of annoying zombies out there. Okay. Let's find some more objects. Let's check in this area. This is the freezer. Have to head for the boiler room. Yeah, that's a whole lot of meat. Meat storage room. A lot of uncooked meat. Ugh. <sighs> that's a whole load. Of irritating zombies. There's like a horde of them with this loser. 
Those weapon throwing zombies don't scare me. No siree, Bob. They don't. But sometimes. Out of range. Out of my way. How would you like some of my Molotov cocktails? Like this. If I lit 10 zombies all at once, the achievement will be unlocked. It's kind of hard. That's not enough to burn these guys. Kill them. You seriously? Where is he coming from? He's over there. I'll deal with him. I'm giving you a taste of your own medicine, Bob. Where'd you come from? Whoa! At least that's peaceful. Brass knuckles. <gasps> but we've got an annoying infected over there. Just decapitated. Presto. Steam room. What's the infected? Can you at least get out of my way already? Huh. When you break an infected zombie's arm, they die automatically. Or if you chop their arm off, they die. Snack. Repair. You can't upgrade damage items. So you gotta repair. What a waste of money. Okay. We're gonna deal with these zombies in the poor area. And more lousy infected getting trying to shave off my health! This is bad enough to deal with them. Oh my god. What are you trying to do to me? Get out of my way! Move! Leave me alone! Why are they so annoying? I'm about to die! I'm about to die! I guess I have no choice. You left me no choice, you stupid zombies. Get a lot of XP the more I do a combo.
Okay. I'm fine. At least. All right. Lost your arm, huh? And your head. Goodbye. Goodbye, loser. Man, they got beds by the swimming pool? Why do they have to have beds in the swimming pool? Back. Yum. What's that? Second it hurt to look. No, it doesn't hurt to look. Bye. I already said that. Is this salt? Is this bleeding baseball bat really annoying you? It can be. Some alcohol. Let's go upstairs. You got it. The zombie. And a, a breakable glass on the floor. No, that's unbreakable. Oh, good. Here we go. Here. I think this is one of my favorite weapons. Let me give you a question. What is your favorite weapon in this game? You know, this thing reminded me of Dead Rising 2, where Chuck can make weapons. Like modification weapons. Including the mask firework bomb. That's what I needed. Yeah. Also, remember that Blanca mask from Street Fighter? Pretty cool. Come on. There we go. I need something for the pain. Ken's in pain. I ain't gonna fucking make it. Please, give me something. Yeah, there, uh, there was a first aid kit with, uh, with morphine in the medical room. If you, uh, if you can find it. <laughs> Hurry. 
get some morphine for Ken. Is there any collectible in here? Uh, nope. No collectible here. Gotta get some more food for Ken. Hell no. Jump drink? Oh, we got a zombie over there. That door is locked from the other side. <laughs> There's a thug. I seriously hate thugs. Wow. Oh, way to go. Morphine. Found it. Booyah. Now we gotta give that to Ken. By the way, what exactly is morphine? The Noi Herald Expert, number 13, has been completely found, folks. That's a hat stand. It's a blunt weapon, that's for sure. <laughs> Gotta go see him. <gasps> oh yeah, that's better. But I need more. <laughs> Please. <sighs> I just, <laughs> just wanted. Wanted to see it, Mom. Just he misses his mom the puppy. and his so dog. Sorry I, I made you mad, Mama. I just <laughs> that would be me. Well, that would be mad at me. I just, I just. Get to the security room. Now. Jesus He's dead. Poor guy. Oh no. It was too late. I think he died. Stay down. I think he's probably unconscious or something. I can't tell. Oh, he's annoying zombie. Gross. Disgusting. And he's infected our spine again on my last turn. Recording on. Here. Check the inventory what it is. Chaos in the streets. Fuck. Uh, I had to throw away my jacket. Uh, there was so much blood on it. Uh, I would go to the authorities, but. Uh, Sounds like Andre Almedia from the video game Player 7. A psychotic 70 year old woman attacked me and forced me to kill her. Maybe there's something inside. <laughs> uh, there, there seems to be some sort of a traffic accident. Uh, 
Man, it is even more chaotic than usual out there today. Uh, uh, excuse me, driver. Any idea what's going on? I mean, wh why are all those people? Yeah, you know, uh, I got an idea. Why don't we? Why don't we turn around? It looks like Jesus. What the fuck? I don't know. Uh, we might be in the middle of a uh, terrorist attack here. Uh, people are running in panic. Yeah, They're covered, panicking. Covered in blood. Oh, it seems like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, good gravy. Being attacked by those disgusting, filthy zombies. And they got a Molotov mod modification. Do they? Can tell if they're there or not. Kill all the undead in the corridor. Not that same voice in the hope in the beginning. Ha. Huh. to kill these kill those zombies. Everything's beginning to fail. Uh oh. Almost it's almost broken. Damn. That doesn't sound like like that mysterious guy. Spend money on the vending machine. They're worth five five dollars. Let's see here. Control room. Gotta upgrade. No, we don't. That's the right thing to do. Pay attention now. Listen carefully. Okay. What now, sir? Listen, the hotel security system is fried. Some of the security cams are deactivated, and some of the key corridors have been blocked, including the one to the parking garage. It needs to be rebooted. Luckily, you can reset it manually in a server room. But first, you've got to get past those bloody psychos. I used to work with those poor bastards. Jesus Christ. Rebooting it isn't difficult, but it does take some time. Follow the on-screen instructions, and there shouldn't be a problem. Watch your back, though. Who knows who uh, and what is in there? Yeah. Whatever you say, man. Can I get to the server room? What's in here? My health's full. That's good. Probably good enough. We gotta focus right now. Get in this server room. What's in there? It's at the system security system in the server room. There's another person ID. These lockers. Is there a walker? Alright. Open up that door. Got a bug. Oh my god. He lost one arm. But it doesn't mean he's gonna kill me. He can't kill me, but... Alright, his arm's chopped off. You can't bite me, buddy. Send you to hell. Take that. I was right! That's a Molotov blueprint. That one. But this is a limited time only. 
So, there's no going back if we finish this. One, two, two more left. Rocky. Set, set that thing. That, so that's three. You're working on my nerves here, man. He's dead. Snack. Gotta kill all these guys. I wanna damage my whole weapon. The more I damage enemies with a weapon, the more weaker the weapon will be. Yeah, I'm gonna spend my skill points here. Let's see here. Enjoy slots. Yeah. It's a lot of XP. Now, I'm now it's time to reset the firewall terminal. Yay. Now get back to the security room right now. Stop that. Don't close the door. Now then, let's upgrade. No, you can't upgrade a damaged weapon. You bloody made it? Good. The door to the parking lot is unlocked, and a large part of the system is up and running again. I'm just worried about the power in the parking lot. Find the truck. Hey, what's up there? What's in there? No, don't hit the wrong button. Okay. You know what? Let's just get rid of... Come on, let's get rid of that hammer. We don't need it. That's it. I don't need a hammer right now. So let's check upstairs. Oh! Now you're dead. Just a dead end. And a vending machine. We'll go down. Guys, with rage. <laughs> Killing the thug is great, especially when I'm using rage. That's cool. Let's use the truck. Alright, we made it, folks. Let's talk to Cinemoy. It is done. Let's get our butts inside that truck. 
so that we can go see cinema like Almost there, folks. Don't crash. Careful. Watch where you're driving, will you? Leave the vehicle now. Talk to Cinemoy next. Get up there. Say so, but I was afraid it might not be there. Of broken birds, got some diamonds. Chapter four starts here. We heard somebody on the radio talking about a chopper going down. From what they said, the crash site's pretty close by. Maybe you can check it out. Black Hawk down. Investigate the helicopter wreckage and bring Cinema any supplies that you find. Normal. Definitely. Look for survivors first. And then see if there's anything in the wreckage worth saving. Can I investigate the helicopter wreckage right now? Okay. Oh, let's see where it's located. Over there. Hi, hey, Mike. All right, let's go into that truck. The Bank of Benoy truck. At least you're not robbing a bank. <laughs> Check whether they're survivors or not. And jump over the fence. Run away from these annoying zombies.
Okay, what's in there? Uh. Nothing for me. Wow, we got a new enemy over there. This is a suicider. Very annoying. When you get close to it, they blow themselves up. And they'll kill you instantly. Better to have to be far away from him and throw the weapon at him. The bigger they are. Boom. I see a stream of blood. Rag. I hate the suiciders. They're annoying. Suicider is is bad enough, but more worse. A suicider destroyed the helicopter. Nikolai. My name is Nikolai. As you can see, this piece of shit helicopter that was supposed to get me off this fucking island crashed. Figures it wasn't Russian. We need to get out of here, my friends. Soon this place will be swarming with those things. Before we crashed, I saw a bunker by the beach. Once inside, it would be a great place for us to hide. Very defensible. Unfortunately, it's surrounded by those infected freaks. If you can get us to the bunker, I guarantee I will get you off this goddamn island. Get Nikolai's safety to the hideout. All right. All right, folks, let me tell you something. Nikolai is also voiced by Stephen Bloom, as well as Cin Cinemoy. I advise you not to burn, because we're going to kill those annoying infected. If Cinemoy dies, you fail. Get away from him. I won't tell you again. Out of my face. Get out of his face. Okay, get out of his face we already. We know. Calm down. Oh my god, these walkers shaved off his health. Because if Nikolai dies, it's a mission fail. Look at the drink. Do not burn. Oh my god, that's a whole lot of infected. I don't I'm not kidding. Leave him alone. Where exactly are we going right now? the hideout mm -hmm. Let's see which hideout Oh, to nearest events, bottles of friggin' alcohol. Right there. Of course. Come on, Mike. You better follow me, buddy. Oh, good gravy. Leave me alone. You know what? Oh, you're dead. Now you are. Probably need to stick with him from now on. So 
his shit. So then, let's follow him. Thought we were gonna take a shortcut, but no, let's not. Oh, so that's his hideout. He made it out alive. Spasibo, my friends. Here's a little something for your trouble. What does Spasibo mean? Now it's time to return to Sinemoy. For now. The helicopter crash was unfortunate. But right now, I think we get, it's about time we end this stream, okay guys? It is time we begin... Right after we talk to Sinemoy. But no. Working on plan B. I'll end it for now. Okay? Quit. Okay, folks. That is it for part two of Let's Play Dead Island D Definitive Edition. I'll see you in part three. Until then, toodles.